Hey friends, welcome back to CS Biotech. So we were studying about biotechnology and its uses, its basics, its history and everything we've discussed in the previous lecture. So now we are starting this next part of our lectures in which uh, we are going to study, these are the contents, the genome, the cell including eukaryotic and prokaryotic cell, three domains of life including prokaryota, eukaryota and third one. Hey, guess the third one, we will discuss it later. The general structure of nucleic acid, DNA and RNA. The central dogma means the production of protein from a DNA portion, DNA to RNA and RNA to protein. So these three steps, we will discuss these. DNA replication from DNA to protein, okay. Genetical mutation, what mutations we can see in genetically, human genome projects and functional genomics, transcriptomics and proteomics. Actually, these are the studies of genes transcription the transcription the production of uh, you know dna to rna and proteomics the production of protein from rna so we will discuss these things heading towards, towards molecular biology what is molecular biology the branch of biology that studies gene structure and function at the molecular level okay so what are molecules actually the uh, this is very basic thing uh, cells combine to make molecules so we will study molecules, especially biomolecules. So bi bi biomolecules include genes, so it will uh, overlap with the genetics and biochemistry because biochemicals, biochemistry. Okay, the molecular biology allows the laboratory to be predictive in nature, events that occur in the future. So when molecular we study molecular biology, we predict the future, the what it's going to happen with something that we have. Like we will study biochemistry and genes. When we study genes, we can estimate what is going to be produced using these genes. Okay. Sorry. The genome database. The genome database is organized in six major organism groups. So these are the six major groups of organisms: eukaryotes, bacteria, archaea, viruses, viroids, and plasmids. Uh, after listening to these six major organisms, uh, I think you may guess the third domain of life. If not yet, let's keep going and we will get it very soon. So here comes the three domains of life, eukaryotic, prokaryotic and archaea. So the first of all, the, this chart is actually the uh, classification, how we do the classification on, of an organism, life, domain, and kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus and species. Actually, this is very simplified. Uh, we may have some subphylum, subclasses, suborders, subfamily, etc. So we will discuss all this in detail. First of all, eukaryotic cells. Eukaryotes are generally more advanced than prokaryotes. Have a look at this. This is a uh, generalized eukaryotic cell in which we have a defined nucleus. We can clearly see it includes chromatin, nuclear envelope, nuclear pores, and nucleolus. Everything is right in here. And other organelles also have membrane bordering organelles. So, this is actually the difference between a prokaryote and a eukaryote that prokaryotic cells do not have membrane bordering organelles, organelles and do not have a defined nucleus. And while uh, eukaryotics have a divine, uh, defined nucleus and cellular uh, membrane bordering organelles. Here's the detail of eukaryotic cells are found in animal, plant, fungi and protistic cells with the true nucleus where the genetic material is surrounded by the membrane. Eukaryotic genome is more complex than that of prokaryotes and distributed among multiple chromosomes. So presence of defined multiple chromosomes is also a feature of eukaryotic genome. Eukaryotic DNA is linear. Eukaryotic DNA is complex with protein called histones. Numerous membrane bound organelles yeah, I was also told this okay, complex internal structures, cell division by mitosis. So we are ending it here in eukaryotics. So be suspensive, be waiting, keep waiting for prokaryotes and archaea. We will be right back in the next video and we will discuss those. So that will be the second part of this first lecture. Goodbye.